Welcome to Soltron. I wanted to show off the mods I've been doing for Tarbostorm and Bracky Magneta. So we'll just take this guy off and just put him aside for now. And then for the Bracky, I put a ball joint in the neck so he can turn his head more convincingly. And then there's also ball joints here that can help with the neck articulation. And then I put a little hole here where the saddle would be, basically. And while I was playing with these figures, I kind of discovered this fan mode, which is kind of a gun emplacement that this guy can do, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's start with the green guy. I did a lot to this guy. So first, I did a little Lego ball joint into his neck, so he now has head articulation. Before, his neck had no articulation. And then I put a Strux ball joint here. So now this arm, this shoulder can fold forward. And then if you pull it out a little bit, he can get some outward motion on that shoulder. But the top of this kind of blocks it. But he can move his shoulder forward. That was basically the point. Was So this shoulder wasn't frozen anymore. And same for this shoulder. I put a pair of ball joints. I had to replace like the armature that was in here, but now he has good articulation on this gun. He can actually point it forward and look where he's shooting. So that's pretty good. So really helps with the posability. This guy just looks a ton better now that he can move his head and his shoulders. It makes a pretty big difference. And this guy already had bicep swivels, so I didn't have to do anything with that. So then when we go to the orange guy, this guy already had neck articulation, so I didn't bother putting a ball joint there. I did replace the joint that was here, which was a good ratchet, and it had a swivel, but I gave it a ball joint so, so he has articulation in beast mode too, as I showed you. I also put a couple of ball joints here so he can move this shoulder. It's not frozen. And then I did a little mod where this jaw can open more just to make it look more like a claw maybe. And then same thing here, I installed the ball joint here. So this arm is no longer frozen. So he can actually point this gun and he can get into some, some cool looking poses now. So pretty, pretty small mods, but they were time consuming and they, they took a lot of work, but you can see this transforms the same way. It still rotates around and it clips into this clip in his back. So everything, everything is still there. And same for this, this will just rotate up and then it'll become the neck for the Brachiosaurus. But um, pretty, pretty easy mods, they just took time. Okay, and for Tarbo Storm, I had to do a lot of modding. So I put, and these are pretty loose, so I'll have to fix them up with floor wax, is I put two two ball joints in the neck, so now he can actually turn his head and pose. I cleaned out all the gunk, all the his gimmick that was in his mouth, so now he has an opening mouth that doesn't have anything in it, which is what I wanted. And then I gave him top of the head joint, and also the jaw can also open, so he can get a huge bite now. So that's about it on this guy's mode. This this transformation had to be totally changed just from the elbow articulation on the robot mode. But I really like how this guy turned out. It's nice that he can now turn his head, which I think is a pretty big deal. I don't ever really pose him in this reptoid mode, but in this mode, um, he does ha now have head articulation, so he can look left and right. So that's the only real change for this mode. Okay, and here he is in robot mode, and this is where the big changes are. So first off, I gave him ball jointed elbows, so now he doesn't have to do curling iron posing, because before his elbows could only bend this way in and out, which was not very good. So now he can actually pose his elbows in a way that makes sense with his fists. I also put a ball joint neck so his neck wasn't, his head's not so jammed into his chest. So this helps with posability a lot. So now he can 
look around without his chin just bumping into everything. So he can actually turn his head pretty pretty well. And then the big things I did were for the weapons. So that you see a lot of this on the back. So the little tail pieces I put on ball joints so they can mount onto his back and give him kind of like thrusters, which I think looks really cool on his back. I think that's just an awesome look. And then, let's see. So another feature is now this dinosaur head can just be pulled off from the ball joint. And now I put in, I installed some clips. So these clips can now mount onto his arm. So he can now use this dino head as basically a blaster weapon. So now he can angle that up and he can point it kind of like Megatron. So he's got that as a weapon, which I think it looks really cool. So I think that looks really good, especially with the thrusters on his back. I think that makes for some pretty cool posing options. So we just take that off and get that out of the way for now. And then he's also got, so I'll take pop off these from the ball joints. So another thing he can do now is most of the work I did was on his tail weapon because I think this this weapon before was just pretty weak. It didn't really make sense the way it was built, but so one thing I did was I reversed this handle so now it sits like this. And then these do still clip together, but instead of making kind of like a bow weapon or boomerang, it looks like this which I think is really cool because when you put that on his arm, it now looks like he's got a giant pincer arm and he can use that to pick things up. So that's pretty cool looking. Is He's now got this weapon, which I think fits the character more. It looks like a more reasonable weapon. But then in addition to that, I modded the inside of this. So now that these two halves can fit together like this, for normal transformation, they look like this, which doesn't look like anything. But now they can fit together like this. And then now that I've done the the hilt mod and I um, drilled a hole in his hand here, so now he can actually hold this peg in his hand. And now he's got basically a sword weapon which I think improves the way he looks a lot. And then we just put the dino head on his other arm. And I think that looks way better than just having like a, a weird little boomerang on his arm. And then he's got one more little thing you can do is this sword weapon now has that ball joint that can still be clipped onto his back here. And now he's got his sword just on his back and I think what's what's really awesome about this is he can actually reach back there and pretty much unsheathe the weapon from his back so that's a really cool look is he can now look like he's reaching back for his sword so those are all pretty much all the mods I did to this guy I think they make him way better he's now probably my favorite mini force figure which is saying a lot because I like all the mini force figures that I have so that's it for these mods. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.